Hey guys, it's Erica and Jess. Welcome back to Twin or and It's a knitting and style podcast. We are here today to share progress. This is week three. Week three. Yeah, that's okay. This is real life. Real life, baby. Okay. I'm are like, you... I only do that because uh, I didn't really get a lot of progress done, but that's okay. That's okay because it's not about progress. It's about life. Facts. Um, do you want to talk about, let's talk about our color plays. Okay. Um, are you ready? Yes. One, a two, two a three. I three. finished mine. So I still have the sleeves left. I did this giant chunk and now I don't know if I like it. Oh, because you see my pretty stripes? Yeah. But that's if, what that's what you, that's what I get for being obsessive compulsive. Like my my three stripes up here all match. Yeah. Up until here. And then these do not. Yeah. But at the same time I'm like, well I just wanted I just wanted to work until the minis were done. Were done not a bad thing so it's not a bad thing and I'm sure it'll have like one giant chunk and then the second giant chunk mm -hmm. and then same thing here where it's like one giant chunk and then the second giant chunk. yeah so like it's fine but I just I don't know what I was expecting I was expecting stripes no kind of I was expecting them to be bigger chunks but that like bigger stripes but that's okay I'm not mad at it I was just, you know, because I haven't really looked at it because I was giving my wrists, my forearms a break. Mm -hmm. I just picked it up yesterday, so I just knitted through the first mini skein. And I do like it. I do like it. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I just think it'll be, it'll be like a fun, obviously like color blocked mm -hmm. instead of stripes. Yes. You know what I mean? And I think that'll be cool once I get to the, the other. The side. other. Once I get more of the second color on, I think I'll like it better. Yeah. You know. But right now I'm like, oh, that. But it, it's a beautiful color. It's just a lot of it's it. It's just a lot of it. I think because it's such a neutral color, and it's not like a bright color. So I think I'm gonna have to mimic this on the other sleeve. So it's. A more neutral on top and then a pop of color on the bottom mm -hmm. and I think that's how I'll make it match without matching mm -hmm. do you know what I mean but yeah I do like it a lot I think it'll be cute especially with the cuffs are gonna be a different color yeah so so I was able to finish my project because I became obsessed mm -hmm. and also stripes matching stripes makes it so much easier for me because I'm constantly doing something. It's not just like a slog of things. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't remember which one I actually, I, could, I can tell you which one I did because of colors, right? <laughs> so if you see this sleeve, this pink sleeve is brighter than the middle mm -hmm. or this one, that's because I ran out of this color, but I still had enough of the collar pink. Yeah. So that's the only change. But once I got to like, here I was able to do the same stripe repeat mm -hmm. so I did 15 rows each still mm -hmm. and I was able to do one two three four five more stripes and then the ribbed cuff cuff but because I had this all set out it was mindless mm. to do this one mm -hmm. so I got this done pretty quickly too which yeah. I love doing but this is the whole thing. Can you see the whole thing? Yes. Whole thing. Ta -da. I like it. It looks cool. Now that it's totally done, mm -hmm. I don't mind this color anymore. Yeah. Like I loved the color, right? Right. But when but you're it was knitting just it. when you're knitting it, you just have this. It looked really dark. Yeah. But now that you have the whole thing, it's not as like it's still pretty dark, but it's yeah. not as dark. Yeah, yeah. Because you have other colors. I don't know, man. I can't wait to knit another one of these. I know. And I think for the next one, I think I will, like, stick to a number of stripes. Mm -hmm. And 
do oh multiple you know what I'm even, I'm even showing you the back that's the back <laughs> this is the front yeah it looks nice i can't wait to finish mine and i love how ours are gonna look similar but different um so if this is the first one you're watching this is all mini skeins mm -hmm. this is the apres ski chelsea lux advent with wandering flock mermaid parade mohair which gives it that like vintagey green hue yeah which i absolutely love i do too because it looks like you're looking through the sweater through a memory like the haze of a memory almost and i love that oh. no i take it back i look at my sleeve and i'm like actually it's really cool and i can't wait to finish it <laughs> so i have so this is my first finished object in 2024 <sighs> Jealous. I'll I, be there. You'll be there. I you just took breaks. I, I had, did not. I had to. My chiropractor told me that I needed to. But my forearms sure. do feel a lot better. We did tape them twice. Mm -hmm. So I had the one long tape to help with my forearm. And then when I went back, she just did this to get to the to the point that the trigger point, I guess. And I did I did get to I do feel better and I do I feel like I did get to work on this a little bit yesterday, so I did what I was mindful of taking breaks and making sure I take breaks to stretch it out. And I think that's moving forward. I'm going to have to do a lot more of that instead of just like marathon knitting for like five hours with no break. Yeah, that's not good. I know it's not good, but also you get into like I want to say like you start something and then it's like you don't realize that five hours have gone by because you've only seen so much progress. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's okay because it's about doing this in the long term. Yes. Not versus... short term. Yes. So yes, you need to take care of your body. Yeah. Since I finished my sweater, I decided to start my next project, which is the No Limit Sweater in this book close knit mm -hmm. um i decided to put my poetry pullover on hold for just a second because this project that i wanted to work on has been like marinating for quite some time since i bought the book like mm -hmm. almost a year ago and i just never took the time to actually make it mm -hmm. um but now that i'm making it i'm so excited so i'm going to show you that in just a second i'm going to put this down um, I am using these color scraps, yeah, which is the same scraps that I use for my little cute top that I wore last time. Mm -hmm. So I was using those to make, you guys, ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> so this is the No Limit sweater. Yeah, it looks so nice. Look at it on camera. Something happens to it when you, when you like see it in real life. And then when you see it on camera, you're like, oh, oh it looks okay. It looks good. So, um, I am holding the Ritual Dyes Gemini color. If you are a longtime viewer of the podcast, you know that I bought this during the pandemic and I test knitted, um, Boyland Networks' is Gloam mm -hmm. in this color. And I had a ton of it left and... I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, and it just kind of got moved into, like, meh stash. <laughs> um, I mean, it's true. No, 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 <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's funny. Like, we have, like, meh. So, like, I have... I'm just going to be honest with you guys, okay? I have stash, and you're going to see yeah. when we do our stash tour that I have, like, different tiers of yarns that I like. Mm -hmm. So, it's, like... The stuff that I'm excited about that are my favorites. Mm -hmm. I have stuff that I have that I bought that are, you know, older projects. And I say older because I've only been doing it for three years. But, like, the beginning stuff um, that I wasn't sure what I was buying. And then there's stuff that are is leftover, like, full skeins leftovers from, you know, buying other project or knowing. buying too much or, you know, listening to how many yardages I needed. And I needed it for whatever, right? So this is what that is. This is like leftover yardage mm -hmm. from that project. Um, and because she's like, in the book, Lark that, like mentions that she uses like a base yarn color and then scraps. So I decided to use this as my base yarn because I had so much of this. Mm -hmm. 
And look at how nice it looks. You it guys. looks so good. I have a progress keeper mm -hmm. that Jessica got me for Three Kings Day. Yeah, by Twine and Lines. And this just says lover. This is the Taylor Swift. Um, so I did the body. Mm -hmm. This looks really small, but it only looks that way because it's like cinched up here and mm -hmm. cinched down here. Yeah. I did try it on and it fits. It looks like it's not going to fit, but it does. I swear it'll fit. Um, <laughs> so what I started doing, and I don't have much to show you. I'm going to oh, show you anyway. I have to do the sleeves. I have to do the sleeves because this is a bottom up sweater. Yeah. Which I forgot how much I liked doing bottom up sweaters mm -hmm. because it's like you do all of these little pieces in between. Yeah. So like I'm done with this. I don't have to worry. I'm done with this part of the sweater. I don't have to worry about keep turning it to do the sleeve. The yeah. sleeves. <laughs> I'm on the sleeve. Um, look at my little sleeve. It's so cute. Um, I don't have to worry about like, you know, carrying this around anymore. If I don't want to, if I want to take this part with me, mm -hmm. I can, and it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then when you're all done, you knit them all together and it's like, and then like, it's like, it's like here and then you're like, bloop, and then sweater. it's like magic. It felt, <laughs> oh, that was my favorite thing. So I did, I think I showed this before. Mm -hmm. I call these everlasting gobstoppers. She calls them little butterfly things. I made magic cakes, magic cake balls using this yarn, holding each end double. Mm -hmm. So you can see the strand is double just because I wanted a thicker, thicker thing. But look at all the colors on the inside. So that's what I used. I made three of these. This is the second. This is the third one. Mm -hmm. I used two and a half for this one. And then I used, I'm using this one for this. And then I'm also like cutting and swapping colors just so we have, I have more of that rainbowy marled effect. Mm -hmm. um, but I worked on this all day yesterday and my body aches, like my wrists really hurt and my forearms are really tight. Um, so I'm probably not gonna work on this today. Mm -hmm. But yeah. who knows? I might, what I probably will do because I don't feel like knitting, not that I don't feel like knitting, but I don't feel like, um, I don't want to aggravate anything. I think I'm going to sit here and like make Wind. a couple more of those little cakes, mm -hmm. um, just so ha I have enough to continue on so I can finish it. Yeah. Which is exciting. I'm excited by this Look project. Look at you, two projects. I'm still working on my first one. That's okay. I have so many ideas for my second project. I want to make mittens. I do too because we got snow and I'm like, that's the only thing that I need. But I, I have, don't know. I have um, petite knits, North Sea mitts. Mm -hmm. And what I like about those, I think I'm going to knit those because I bought those a while ago. I bought like a whole slew of petite knit patterns. Mm -hmm. um, but they're color blocked. Oh, nice. And I have... You know, I mean, like, we have so much of leftover yarns, like leftover yarns that I think would be super cute. Held together. He well, not held together, but they're color blocked. So it'd be mm -hmm. cute. Like, like, look at that. That's like, that could be a really cute mitten set. Mm -hmm. So we are, we keep talking about this stash video. Oh, um, yeah. There needs, I feel like before we show you everything, there needs to be some reorganization. And I know, is it true to, you know, the thing just to show it to you now? Um, no, no, it's a hot mess. But it's also a hot mess. So, like, you don't let people come over if the house is a mess. <laughs> you clean the house and make it presentable yeah. before you allow people in your house. Right. So that's what we're doing now. <laughs> yes, but also... <laughs> No, um, but yes. So the thing is, it's like we want to reorganize things. We have different, we need to s structure our stash in a way that's better suited for what we're doing this, this year. year. Correct. Instead of like, oh, all DKs over here or I didn't this even, project's I here. I didn't even have that. I had yarn brands. So like all my Chelsea Lux is together. All Which my Fashion School helpful. Drop Out together. All my wandering flock is together. Oh, I mean, it is helpful if yeah. that's what you want. 
if you're looking for inspiration and color. I have a whole yeah. thing, like a whole thing of piles up of like cake wool. Yeah, but it's not helpful when you're like, oh, I want to make a project. I don't know where my yard is. I don't know is. where my yard is. So that happened to me. Yeah. I had so, to go through, well, you'll see, I have yarn in baskets. I have yarn in like a treasure chest over here. And then I have yarn under my bed. bed. Yeah, I have baskets and I have drawers and I have bags. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not mad about it. It's just, it's just a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to make sure it looks presentable. Not that mine doesn't look that presentable, but I definitely want to reorganize it. So it's more like what I want to work on next and like really, really project plan the stuff that I want to do instead of being like, okay, now that I'm done with the color pay pool over. What now? What now? So I definitely want to like think about the projects that I have because I have quite a few and figure out which one I'm going to work on next and make project pages for them and figure out where in my stash they're going to be. So that's also another thing is whether or not, because I have plenty of yarns that don't have projects and it's like, do I want to use those yarns to create a new project or do I want to use some of the yarns that I already have projects for and just make, and projects. just make those projects first. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, 100%. Because I've been wanting to knit the antique flora for almost six months to a year now. Mm -hmm. And I still haven't. And it's all there ready to like go. But also I'm like, I don't know. Am I ready to like knit this? Why wouldn't you be ready to knit it? <laughs> because then something else comes up instead. And then you're more excited about something else. It's not that I'm not excited to knit the antique flora. But also... But yeah, so yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm just like, there's so many ideas floating in my head being like, oh, I could do this. I could do that. But until I'm done with this, I feel like I can't move on. I can't really like focus on what else I want to do. Cause then I see you doing the no limit sweater and then I'm like, I want to do that. But then I'm like, do I, or should I just like work on something that I already have yarn for? Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I can, because I can pull all my leftovers and do that, or I can create more leftovers so I have a bigger selection of stuff to work with. Mm -hmm. Is the thing? Yeah. I don't know. We gotta check the bingo card and see what I want to do. Yeah. So I talking about the bingo card. I've mentioned it on my Instagram, but obviously. This is, not obviously, this is a sweater twin, mm -hmm. which I don't know if it's on the bingo card or not. I don't think it is. And then this is a pattern from a book. And I think the reason why we did that is because we buy so many books. Not that we buy so many books, but we do. We, oh, have, yeah. we have quite a few pattern books. Yeah, which are beautiful and fun and like yeah. magazines and stuff. And I say magazines, but like Pom Pom and, you know, Lina and those are all really great, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't use it. I would rather use a PDF because I could take it with me. But like, I made copies of the pattern for the, what is my, my what is it? Oh, Adventitious, yeah. the one in Lina. And I was able to take that project with me everywhere because I made copies of the pattern. So mm -hmm. I have to remember that I can do that too. But yeah. like, sometimes I forget. I'm like, oh, let's go to Ravelry. Why? When well, we, have we have books. books. Yeah. So yeah, so we're trying to work through some of that. And I also want to do like some crochet projects this year. Yeah? Yeah, because I got that hip to be square book during, oh, yeah, during yeah. Rhinebeck and I really want to work on something like that. Dude, I already forgot how much yarn I have. So going through all of this again is going to be like, oh yeah. Oh. What would you like to, to um, set out to do? with your stash because we are reorganizing it yes okay so like i'm like i can't wait to rework my 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 sheets your spreadsheet my spreadsheets because i'm a weirdo you're not a weirdo it's, everyone does it's it. all color coordinated and i poured so much so much time and energy into it but i also feel like 
I need to start over mm -hmm. from scratch. Yeah. Um, because I was looking at it the other day and it said that the last time I opened it was in September when I added stuff from September. But I'm just like, everything is so different the way I want to do it this time around. Mm -hmm. So I'm over here like, okay, I'm going to do a whole new setup and then I'm going to redo my whole entire thing. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I was telling Jess, we went out to lunch. We were out at lunch and we were talking and I mm -hmm. was just like, hey, so about the stash video, um, I think I need to reorganize it or something because it's a mess yeah. and like I can't even deal with it. And then like going through it all again is like a reminder of how much you have. Mm -hmm. And it's also a reminder of, oh yeah, I bought that to make this. Yes. Um, even if you're not going to make that anymore because there are projects now that I'm like, oh, I bought this to make a sweater, but I think I'm going to use that yarn to make a shawl. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to quickly talk about before we, before we head out, <laughs> I just really want to talk to you about what I'm wearing. So I am wearing Moon and Yarn Craft Room sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. I got it at cake palooza mm -hmm. even though she's close to us in pittsburgh yes. but she is our friend and brian yes we love her she is moon and yarn moon and yarn craft room in pittsburgh she is awesome her store is amazing and her so cute so cute every time we go it's just like so it cute. just gets better and better and yeah. better she does a good job she does such a great job and she does like really great community things for the knitting oh my community gosh. or the fiber community there. So she did during the, it was supposed to be during Jan December, but it ended up being in January. She did a white elephant skein, a white elephant thing. So you mm -hmm. could, you know, package yarn yeah. in like a present and then you would swap. That's such a great idea for I a know. swap. I and would, more people should do that. I know. That we is wanted so to fun. go, but the snow let us not. I know. But she does a, such a great job, and that was such a great idea. And hopefully she'll do more stuff in the summer that we can actually go to. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's such a cool place, and she's such a great person. And it's just great to, like, be with people. Community. Yeah, to be with fi the fiber people in our area. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Thanks, Brianne. You're the best. Um, and with that, we are off. And we will see you in the next one. Same nitty time. Same nitty channel. Bye, Bye guys. guys.